Aloha, it's your boy Neglected Gundam. Today we will be looking at the Master Grade Goof Custom with show accurate battle damage. Thank you for tuning in, and without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to my build channel, and I'm excited to have you here today. I know it's been a while since my last video. However, I am reworking how I'm doing things on this channel, so I want to thank you for your patience. First things first, let me start off by saying, if you've seen this shield footage already, and you want to skip to the new content, you can go ahead to the next timecode at 311. I have made a video showcasing what I did with this shield in the past, so if you'd like to, you can go ahead and watch that. It's a little more content than what's here. However, if you're new to this or want to see it again, I went ahead and put magnets in the shield. The reason I did this is because the Gatling gun frame snaps around the shield and once you get it together you can't slide it off. So I wanted to make this like the high grade GIF custom and be able to slide it off. Since I already have an entire video dedicated to the shield, instead of being redundant I'm just going to go ahead and use this time to talk about the Master Grade GIF custom model kit as a whole. The first thing that I noticed with this model kit is its age. Now, just because a kit is old, doesn't necessarily make it a bad kit. The way the joints are designed and how the armor sits around them really limit the posability of this kit. I mean, the elbow joints can only get a 90 degree bend at best. And I have heard from others that he can't hold his gun up because it's so heavy. When I snapped this guy together, he really didn't have that issue as mine can hold it straight up in the air. Doesn't matter. So either I'm really lucky with my build or I kept those joints tight by not moving them a whole lot. Speaking of posing this guy, at the end of the video you'll see that I put him in a variety of poses, and I gotta say, this guy is sturdy as a rock. And in most cases, he had to be on one foot for a lot of the poses that I pulled off. And even though you can't tell in the pictures, he still is only on one foot. So this guy is as sturdy as a rock and has the balance of a ballerina. And that leaves me impressed. I really hope they do make it 2.0, because the new technology would do wonders for this kit. And I really hope that Bandai takes advantage of the 2.0 frame for the goof and recreate this guy because I haven't met a person that doesn't like the goof custom yet. So if you like the goof custom and you want to pick this guy up, if you can find him between $30 to $40, go ahead and do that. Plus, you get a 1 35th scale Norris Picard that you can paint. It's not a bad kit. Now that the mod that I wanted for the shield is done, now it's time to focus on battle damage. I went scene by scene and recreated as much as I could. A Sakura 05 marker and a Dremel were my go-to tools for this step. To finish the process, I used an X-Acto knife around the bullet holes. The knife gives a good bit of randomness to that detail. When it comes to the bullets that hit the shield, I didn't want to put as many bullet holes as the show portrayed because the EZ-8 unloaded a full magazine into the shield, and I didn't want to put that many bullet holes there. While recreating all the damage, overall I remember that this is an anime, so everything that happened to the mobile suit isn't going to be reflected in every cell. I mean, it's just not feasible for them to sit down and do that and put every bullet hole where it should be for every scene. I couldn't just go to the section that I wanted to recreate because all the previous damage wouldn't be there. 
So that's the reason I went scene by scene to really recreate the damage that was done. Speaking of the inconsistency of the anime, while I was figuring out how many pieces of the energy pipe to take off, I noticed that the individual cells in the same scene had different amounts remaining around his head. So instead of overthinking the process, I just did what looked best from an artistic standpoint. I left two sections in the front and three in the back. Now it's on to painting. I painted the inner frame off camera, but rest assured you'll be able to see the style I used in a future build. I plan to do the same thing for a clear Master Grade Sazabi Verka. The light blue that I'm using here is a mix of white, sky blue, and clear blue. I'm sorry that I can't give you a ratio, because I do it all by sight. The dark blue is a mix of royal blue, green, and dark gray. For the primer, I used light blue, blue, purple, and black. Purple surprised me as I found out that part of the Gatling gun is a dark purple. I didn't know that before. It's so subtle on the show. Here, you can see that everything is pre-shaded. There was a little bit of masking involved with dry brushing. Then finally, I post shaded the light blue in recessed areas and post shaded the edges of the dark blue. For the shading on this project, I used a combination of pre and post shading techniques. I used that combo for the first time on my Goof Tiger of Asia project and I really liked it. So this project got the same treatment. It's probably overkill, but oh well. You might not even notice this. The stand that Norris is on was created with 0.5 millimeter plot plate. I wanted to put him on a stand so he wouldn't keep falling over. One of my favorite aspects of the older builds is the inclusion of the 135 scale figurines. You'll see here that I hand painted them. For this process to come out smooth, I painted them with five thin coats. It takes a lot of time but it is so worth it in the end. Lastly, we enter the home stretch of this project. Hand painting, panel lining, decaling, and weathering. Detailing and panel lining is pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to dwell on that. And as you can see here, I used the provided decal sticker sheet. Normally, I don't like to use these. But since I didn't have the water slides, I decided to cut as close to the decals as possible. The outcome was better than I expected. Usually, I rag on these included stickers, but this experience taught me that they're not so bad after all.
I included this footage because the entire inner frame was painted, and once that armor is snapped on, all that detail gets wasted. But more importantly, the older kits do a good job of showing off the mechanical details of the machine under the armor. That aspect of this build was worthy of documentation. Uh, by the way, here's a sneak peek of the Easy 8. Stay tuned till the end to see more of him in the final fight scene pictures. And now on to weathering. The first thing painted were all the bullet holes and obvious scoring. Titanium silver was used for that. Next, gunmetal was added to darken the paint. Then the deeper parts of those holes were painted to give them greater depth. It's a little trick I use to make the holes look deeper. If you can remember, the first scene that we see the Goof Custom in, he's collecting a lot of dust and debris on his feet while destroying the Earth Federation planes overhead. I recreated that with Tamiya Weathering Master A and a Desert Dust Wash. Instead of randomly weathering the suit with paint chips, I went scene by scene and added the appropriate damage. This includes, but is not limited to, broken glass, not walking around buildings, but through them, getting blasted with smoke and cement dust more times than I care to count, smashing into other mobile suits, getting the most BA oil spray to the face from absolutely murdering a gun tank point blank in one of the best scenes in all of anime, not to mention the scene in which the EZ-8 rips its own arm off to beat away the Goof Custom in a fight for life. Phew, that was a lot. Holy boys. Okay, well, let's blast them again. As you watch me weather this guy, I want to talk about the reformation of my channel. In the past, you have watched the work in progress videos for whatever kid I'm working on at the time. That is followed by a reveal slash talk story. Now I want to release the reveal slash final video first. And this leaves me with a lot of unused work in progress footage. There's no way I could cram all that into this one video. So I have a question for you. Would you want to see that footage? I can create a couple 30 minute long relaxing build videos. Let me know in the comments if this video has enough build footage for you, or if you want me to make a more formal work in progress video. All it takes is one request from you guys and I'll do it. I just have so much footage for me building this guy, I figure I could do work in progress videos if you guys want to see it. If not, I'll just get rid of it. Gray, green. Lastly, I finish up with random paint chips and sponge chipping. Finally, after that, I matte top coat everything and then brush on clear top coat on the glass visor. I hope you enjoyed this detailed look at the Master Grade Goof Custom that I've painted. The next video to come out will showcase the Easy 8 as well. Now you will get a sneak peek of the Easy 8 in these pictures coming up so I hope you enjoy. This project was a lot of fun for me to create as I love the OAth MS team. It's easily one of my favorite animes of all time. So I will be extremely happy and proud to display these two pieces on my shelves with the rest of my Gundams. If you have a question about it or is just something you want to say, go ahead and comment. I comment back to all the commenters. 
And if you like my work here in the hobby, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we have a lot of builds in the future we're going to go ahead and do. Thank you for tuning in if you made it this far. And until next time, I hope you don't feel that neglected now. If you want the Kurgerin to escape and there's a way I can help, then as a soldier it's my duty to find a way to make that happen. <gasps> you watch, Miss Ina. I'm going to make sure there's an escape route for you. Uh, be careful. On, Goof, awaken! <laughs> Zina's petty lover. Life can be real funny sometimes, but I won't be stopped! <laughs>